Hey guys, it's Drea. I'm so excited. I have been waiting all week to film this for you. This is my Black Friday haul and it's also my free makeup haul because every year Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada um, has a thing, usually in the fall, where you can redeem your points and get like extra points back. So I had enough to redeem my points for $350 worth of free stuff, which was so amazing. Um, I save up all year to do it all in one big shot. I do get like presents and stuff, but I also get some stuff for myself. And um, I'm not going to show you everything because I know a few people watch my videos that would see some of this stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get into that part first, but the Black Friday shopping was good this year. I'm going to show you a little bit of clothing at the end. I also got a new coffee maker, and of course I did a ton of holiday shopping for gifts, but of course you guys don't want to see that. So like 75% of this is going to be makeup, and then I'll show you a little bit of clothes at the end. But let's start with Shoppers Beauty Boutique. I'm so excited. So starting with probably my biggest purchase from this is the Dahlia Devine Eau de Parfum Nude. So actually what happened was I told the girl exactly which one I wanted. I wanted the nude one. She sprayed it on me just to make sure that was the right one. Yes, it was. And then she took the wrong one down from the shelf and gave it to me. And I actually Snapchatted it. It had a gorgeous bottle, but I realized once I sprayed it on myself, this isn't the right perfume. So this one actually has more of kind of a plain looking bottle. And honestly, this isn't really the type of scent I would normally go for. It doesn't smell like cotton candy and sugar. Um, it's more of kind of a grown up woman scent. I'll list uh, all the notes below because I'm not really good, as you know, at describing scents, but it has some sweetness to it, but it's definitely more of a mature freshness at the same time. But I have been so into fragrance lately. And actually I still haven't spent my 25 off of 50 coupon from Sephora because there's not really any makeup calling me after after, you'll see after I did all this shopping, um, I'm like all makeup out for a bit, but I think I'm going to buy a fragrance. So I don't know, unless you guys have some great ideas, leave them down below, but I've really been getting into perfume lately. The next thing I bought is a repurchase. This is my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. I have the shade 1.2. I actually used up an entire bottle of this this year. I love this foundation. If you have oily skin, it is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's more of like a natural medium coverage foundation, but it definitely looks really skin-like and it lasts so well throughout the day. Okay, I got two glitter products here. As you know, I am die hard for these Stila eye glitters. Um, they're actually called the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, Magnificent Metals. And I have four so far. I really like the limited edition ones that they come out with, but this is one just from their regular lineup. This is the Rose Gold Retro. And I don't know what happened with the gift set this year, but I never ever even saw it in stock on Sephora. You know, the one that has like the six pack. Um, so I was never, never able to purchase that, but I still got my fix by buying this one. Let me just swatch it quickly. Yeah, this is really gorgeous. This is really, really stinking gorgeous. I don't know why I was never really drawn to it before when they first came out, but yeah, it's so pretty and I'm so glad I finally got it. And then Urban Decay came out with new colors in their heavy metal glitter liners. And I do like these. I like that the Stila ones have the paddle where you can put it like all over your lid really easily, but I really still like the Urban Decay ones for the fact that they have this little just kind of liner brush because they're really easy to work with if you want to put like glitter under your lash line or something like that. And you can still use it to pat it on the lid. But anyway, this one is in the shade Cat Call. They had all of the new ones there and honestly, I just, I don't know. I wasn't really into them. The dark ones seem to be super duper dark and you guys are going to laugh at me because when you see these two together swatch, they actually look like almost identical. They're not identical, but I think you could tell like they're so in the same color family. It's so funny. I got two gift sets. Now, one of them is actually going to be for a giveaway, but I wanted to show you guys because this is such a cool value if you want to run out and buy it. Um, this is from Essence. They actually had like four different gift sets. One was mascara, one was lips. This one was eyeshadow. Can't remember what the other one was. But anyway, this is their The Velvets single eyeshadows. And I already own two of these. They're very nice. They're like very soft. Um, just like silky texture, but th of course they all come in singles and they're all matte. So you have eight colors here. This was like, I think it was $12.99 if I'm remembering right, which is a stinking good deal. Why do I keep saying the word stinking today? Anyway, it's a super good deal. So this will end up in a giveaway, but I wanted to show you guys that it's out there and it's available. And then this is actually a gift set, um, for a friend of mine, but 
she doesn't know yet so it doesn't matter I'm just gonna show you because it's really cool I've been talking about these two products for since the summertime how much I love them so this is from Nooks this is the Protégé, um trial sizes set so basically if you've never tried this before you get actually pretty generous sizes of them to try out and it was only $19 it does say $31 value on it but like it's such a good deal this is the body oil that I love and these products all smell amazing this is the shower gel that I have love like it's so good and then this one is um it says it's an anti-fatigue moisturizing cream so I assume that's for your face I don't know I've never tried this product before but anyway that's going to be for a friend but I wanted to show you guys I also got a replacement for my essence make me brow which is just like the benefit gimme brow they have three shades this is in the shade soft brownie brows deodorant <laughs> I picked up one of these. This is an Infallible Paints Mattes from L'Oreal. And actually, I didn't smell it yet. I wonder if it has that awful L'Oreal scent. No, it doesn't. It actually smells kind of like paint. <laughs> Not really, just very lightly. It doesn't really have much of a scent at all. There's the shade of that one. What is it called? This is just called Peach Pit, which is cute. I think that's going to be a really nice color. I'm going to leave this on for a bit and see if it actually dries down. Okay, so Marcel is a Canadian makeup brand. Um, I haven't tried a ton from them. I've tried their mascara, which I liked, but they had these little just like um, Christmas time lipstick sets. This one is called Gingerbread and they had the weirdest thing there where instead of having lipstick trial like testers, they had a pan which had four circles in it and it was the lipstick. So you could just rub your finger in it and do this instead of like using a lipstick, you know what I mean? It was kind of really cool. I've never seen that before. Anyway, they've done the whole ornament thing where you can hang it off of your tree. I've never done that. Have any of you ever done that? I don't know if anybody ever does that. Now, to be honest, it's a little bit frosty metallic, but I don't know. There's something about it where I think it's actually like really, really pretty. Obviously, I've not tried this on my lips yet, but I just thought that was a really cool shade. I do love peach shades. Um, okay, this next one. I bought two of these, one for a friend, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or give it to another friend, but it was like such an amazing deal. So this is from Pure Cosmetics, and it's actually two palettes, like two mini palettes for $19. This is called the Pure Quick Pro Portables. Um, I just can't get over the price. Like two palettes, eight colors each for 20 bucks is crazy. And Pure is not like a drugstore brand. It's kind of like a mid-range, almost getting to high-end brand, obviously. So you have eight colors of lip products and then just a really nice neutral eye palette of eight shades. And they did have them there to swatch and they seemed really good quality. So again, I think this would be fantastic for anybody who does a lot of traveling because they are, they're the size of this, you know, there's two in here. So they're very small, but they do have a lot of variety in them. So I think it'd be absolutely amazing if you have a friend that travels a lot. So like I said, not sure if I'm going to keep that or not, but I wanted to show you. I also picked up another Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara because it's just my favorite. And then I got one of these. I have never tried the Quo brand makeup sponges before. I've heard good things about them and I've heard bad things about them. But this little set I thought was such a cute little set and a good deal. It was $10 for six sponges. And as you can see, they're all the little mini kind and you have um, like the egg shaped ones. And then you have these ones that I don't even know what shape that is, but it does have like a flat side on it and then kind of rounded here, and then the bottom is also flat. I know you can't see through there. But anyway, it's also flat there. So I thought I would try them out. And then lastly, well, not quite lastly. There's one other thing I'll show you. But lastly, I purchased is this Sugar Crush from Soap and Glory, the Sugar Crush Body Buttercream. So you guys know, if you've been watching me, I am obsessed with the Sugar Crush Exfoliating Scrub. It smells like margarita. Like, it smells like lime. It's absolutely incredible. And this is basically just the body butter exactly the same smelling um, thing to that. That made absolutely no sense, but you guys know what I'm saying. This is just the version of body butter of the exfoliator. So it does, it has the exact, exact same smell. It just has that beautiful lime margarita smell. I adore this stuff. And then in my Shoppers Beauty Boutique, I know I've heard people say they've had good and bad experiences at Shoppers Drug Marts across Canada, but at mine, the girls there are so nice, so helpful, really great customer service all the time. And the girl who was helping me just threw in this free gift. 
no reason other than she wanted to. So um, I didn't buy the thing that this is a free gift for, but she just gave it to me. It's the Aderma Emollient Foaming Gel, and it says right on it, infants, children, adults, cleanses and soothes. So my son has eczema and he does get so ultra itchy and he scratches himself all the time. He's like grown now, but still can't get him to stop doing it. But anyway, I keep trying to buy him stuff like this. Um, she said it's super like good for sensitive skin and great for people with eczema. So I'm going to give him this and see if it works. Okay. This has been sitting here and it definitely is not like transfer proof as you can see, although it does dry down to a mat. So now we know. Next up is all from the Bay, which if you're not Canadian, it's kind of like Nordstrom, kind of like our version of Nordstrom, I would say. Um, I got a few things. Now, the Bay never really does crazy sales on cosmetics. They they do great sales on clothing and everything else, but it was only 10% off cosmetics. But I still wanted to try a few things, so I figured I would just jump in and buy them. Um, number one was this. I, I did buy the eye pigment from Lee Swatche from the Holiday Collection, and this is the Lee Swatche Glam Celebration Blush. I knew I wanted this, and this was just kind of the excuse to buy it, so it has the same gorgeous, gorgeous packaging as the eye pigments do, um, with that sparkle and the gun metal, like it's so nice. And then this is your blush. Like, really? It is so beautiful. So that is an overspray, that glitter there, and the tester in Shoppers, where I had originally seen it, the glitter was all gone. So I was able to swatch just the color underneath, which was kind of nice, because now I know exactly what it'll look like without the glitter. Um, but just kind of mixing them together is just like a really nice, everyday kind of mauve pink. Like, you're absolutely perfect mauve pink shade and it is matte once that glitter overspray is gone so again i haven't tried a ton from lee swatche in my makeup career but uh, i'm really happy to finally like kind of get into it and have some stuff from that brand to actually excite me i also bought the clinique stay matte oil free makeup so this is just the foundation i've been wanting to try this foundation for a really long time because it just has stay matte in the name and you guys know me and um, you know, mattifying foundation. So we'll finally give this a try. Although I will say this it looks very orange when I'm holding it up to my face. This is in the shade one linen, which is the exact shade I use in their, what's it called? Um, conceal and perfect foundation, exact same shade. That's why I ordered this, but I don't know. That looks super, super orange. So we'll have to see if it works. I also got the foundation from The Ordinary. Um, this is their full coverage, or they just call it coverage foundation, but then next to that it says full coverage, high coverage foundation formula. Mine is in the shade 1.2N, which I believe is neutral. I just kind of guessed, even though this is only like $7, like $6.90, I didn't want to buy multiple colors. I wanted to just give it a try for one, and that's what the packaging looks like. Nothing crazy special. Let me know if you'd like an all-day wear test on this. I don't know if I'm going to, because you know, so many people have done it already, but if you really want it, let me know. And then the last thing I bought from the Bay is because of Kristen Game. I was watching one of her vlogs and she said that the MAC 239 brush is gonna be discontinued. And that's the first time I had heard of that. So I jumped on the Bay immediately. This was like my third order I'd placed from them. And I bought one because I was like, I have two, but it's like one of my favorite brushes as well. Like she's always said, it's one of her favorite lay down brushes. Definitely one of my favorites. So if it is true that they're being discontinued, I would try my best if I were you to get on this and pick one up. Um, they are like, they're not cheap, right? Like MAC brushes are not cheap, but it is the best, the best all over the lid shade, like shader brush. Um, besides the 242 from MAC, which I would say is more for like metallic and chunkier shades, this is just kind of good for anything. Um, but this is also really good for matte shades. Okay. Now, as you can see, Sephora got some of my money. And I'm gonna call myself out on this one because really only one of these things was like from their Black Friday sale, um, but I did shop their Cyber Monday sale and I don't know. Oh yeah, there's also a birthday thing and some of those Wednesday wows that they do where things are 50% off. So first of all, from Black Friday, I just picked this up. This is the Philosophy Purity, um, cleanser. So this is the 12 fluid ounce one. This is, this is actually pretty big. As you can see, let me put it next to my face so you can tell. This will last me probably a good six months. Like you don't need a lot if you're doing your face, you know, 
some people use this for different things like cleaning brushes and that's all cool too but if you're just doing your face every day you really like this should last you a good six months so i really like that cleanser i've been using one that is just not like i've been waiting to get that so let me just say that um i also got the wednesday wow of the anastasia moonchild glow kit now i'm not going to swatch this only because I only bought this because it was on sale, and honestly, I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I might give it away as a gift. I might do something else with it. I don't know, but I did get it for half off. That's what it looks like. I don't know. They're just not really the colors for my skin tone, I don't think. But that said, who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I will keep it. I don't know what the intentions are with this yet. I just want to show you guys I got it, and I did get this. This is the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions... Um, eyeshadow palette okay I actually bought this when the VIB sale was still on and I just waited to show you guys now I'm re remembering that this has been sitting here for a while I just threw it in this bag the reason is because I got a gift card for my birthday so this is actually from my birthday and I did get this with the 20% off from Sephora so you guys have seen this I bought it in store so I didn't need to worry about it coming smashed like a lot of people's have been and it just it looks so beautiful like look at these shades they're just absolutely perfect kind of everyday smoky shades and the metallics in here are really stunning. There's four of the metallic shades swatched for you. That's really the reason that I got it. I did kind of hem and haul on it and I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, um, but I eventually did because I couldn't say no to that. Okay, this next stuff is also from their Wednesday Wow, which is the Wednesday right before Black Friday. This stuff came out in the sales section. This is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. And you guys, let me tell you, I have wanted this for probably over a year. And I've never really bit the bullet on it because it it's like a $70 palette. And to me being... It's a great basic staple palette, but to me, being a great basic staple palette, I still didn't want to pay 70 bucks for it. But Casey Holmes used to use this all the time on her channel for tutorials, and she always came out with the most gorgeous, gorgeous looks. So I've wanted it since then. This is what it looks like. The um, This doesn't open all the way. It kind of sits up, which if you're traveling, this would be a great everyday. Like, it has practically everything you need because it has eyebrows over here and even a wax contour and then all these shadows and it comes with a brush too and this huge mirror but yeah I've wanted this for so long and I've never given into it until it went on sale for 50% off which I thought was incredible so I'm so happy so 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 happy to finally get this and I picked up another tangle teaser brush um these went in their clearance section for like 10 bucks it's like in the palm of your hand and I'm not really sure what this is for I guess just for traveling it just covers up the gross brush like hairs that get stuck in there I don't know but anyway I do use this brush pretty much every day to comb through my hair um, because it is kind of the most gentle brush I've ever found and yes I still do lose hairs there's one right there um, but that's because my hair is very damaged now and I lose hairs more than I ever did before but uh, I do like this I lose way less hairs than with other brushes with these ones okay and NARS came out with these lip gift sets. So these are their little triangles for the holiday. They've got a few. Um, this is their new Power Matte Lip Pigments. And this one is in the shades London Calling and Get It On. The funny thing about this is this little triangle comes in two different options, this one and one more. This one was listed for 20 bucks on the website and the other one was listed for 30. And I was like, this has got to be a mistake, right? So I just bought one at 20 bucks because I was like, if you're going to like offer it at a discount, I'm going to snatch that up even if it's not on purpose. So I have not tried these yet. Oh, they smell really good. Yeah, these are like, I have swatched them in store. There's the lighter shade. Um, so these are like super, super, super liquidy, but they're supposed to dry down and be like liquid lipsticks that last all day. Oh, cool. And this one is going to be kind of a dark purpley plummy shade right there so that's really cool you get kind of a fall vampy color and a nice neutral color and then because it was the um wednesday before black friday i guess i don't know whatever they had this deal where if you bought a certain amount you could get all this free stuff so there's like a cleanser there is a eye cream there's this is actually amazing this is um the Ulla Hendrickson Truth Serum. I have a bunch of these when they went on 100 Point Perks. This is Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which I have. They tend to give this one away in a lot of things, so I'll probably put that in a giveaway at some point. Um, a Marc Jacobs Daisy, a Sephora Foundation card, and then an Algenist card. 
You guys, I think I'm about halfway down this haul. There's so, there's so much here. Okay, this is my Cyber Monday haul right here. Now, they also had another bag in this. Well, they didn't like have it in there, but you know, you could put in your code for it. So I haven't even opened this one yet. Um, oh, this looks really good. An Ula Hendrickson moisturizer. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Awesome, I've never tried that one. Um, this is Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence. There's an exfoliate. There's another perfume, and then there's the bag. So I love it when Sephora does these little bags because they actually give you like a lot of things. Normally you get one thing this size as a gift of purchase, so this is actually really awesome. Okay, just decided, let's do a little tiny mini secret giveaway right in the middle of this video. So if you are here still, you can enter. Um, I'm going to put both of these bags in here. I'm going to put these three things, the uh, cleanser, eye cream, Ulla Hendrickson, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, a bunch of these like cards, Marc Jacobs Decadence, and then also the Pep Start from Clinique and the um, Kate Somerville Expo Expolicate. Because honestly guys, I've tried a lot of this stuff already. I have things in my collection to use up and sometimes it's just too much. So I want to give it back to you. So um, let's just do this. All you have to do is in whatever comment you leave below, just put that you want to enter and either leave me your email or your Instagram so that I can contact you. But yeah, I will pick somebody in like maybe a week. I'll leave the, in fact, I'll leave the details in the description bar so I don't take up too much time explaining it, but just leave a comment and let me know you want to enter. Okay, this is my Cyber Monday stuff. So I only got three things, but actually I think I'm going to return two of them. Um, I bought this. Now, what they did was they did like a VIB Rouge exclusive. You could shop before everybody else. And here's a bunch of new stuff that they are promoting, right? One of them was this. This is the Stella uh, McCartney Peony. Peony? Peony? That's a flower. Eau de Toilette Rollerball. Well, they actually have the full size, but I just decided to buy the Rollerball because the packaging looks so beautiful. And I was just like, okay, I'll pick that up. If I hate the scent, then I will return it. And to be honest, I do not like this scent. It's, I don't know, there's something about this that is going to give me a headache. I can tell. There are certain fragrances, mostly florals, that will give me a headache throughout the day. And I can tell this is definitely going to do it. So even though it's gorgeous, I'm going to return that. And the other thing is this. This is one of their like minis they came out with. This is the cover effects and all it says is the perfect light highlighting powder. And it's a little mini, which by the way, looks really gorgeous. It's like kind of rose gold and then it even has a mirror and it's got your little highlighter in there. Now, what it didn't say online and when I went back and all the reviews are saying the same thing, I wish it would have said that because I already own this. It's the Moonlight one from Cover FX, which is one of my absolute favorite highlighters ever, but I already own it. And so when they promoted this, like it says Moonlight on the box, but online it didn't say what shade it was. So I bought it figuring maybe it was something new. And since I love Moonlight so much, I would get it. Um, it was only $12. So if it's still available, get it because it's amazing, but I don't need it. So I'm going to return that. But the thing that I'm super the most excited about is this. When your kids bring you Diet Coke, it's so good. Okay, so this NARS Narcissist. What is this actually called? Wanted eyeshadow palette. Okay, and to be honest, I wasn't intending to get this. I fully blame Alex for this. I'll link her channel. Go check her out. She's my makeup bestie on YouTube. Like I, I go to her. All the time should I buy this or should I not and she was planning on buying it so I just kind of had to now I want to show you this this is the loaded palette from the summertime and I thought they were gonna be I thought this was gonna be very similar to this um, because the inside is but it's actually different it's slightly smaller it's slightly thinner I think you could tell um, and it's nicer packaging like I really I like this this does have that glass on the front but I just like this better I think it's sleeker it is like really reflective and I like that the front is not glass because the the glass it just it gets fingerprints all the time and the pan sizes are exactly the same so it's 0 0.04 ounces per shadow times 12 1.4 grams of product for the whole thing so I like that they kind of streamlined the packaging a little bit but yeah this is the wanted palette you guys it's definitely more of the rosy pinks and there's so many beautiful metallics in here 
like look at this um, I'm not gonna swatch everything because I think Alex and I will probably do what we did with the Saint and Sinner Kat Von D palette and do a two looks one palette with this and that way if you are getting it you can get two tutorials right off the bat um, so that should be coming I do believe but yeah look at this that's so 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 pretty um, I as you can tell this is well loved like I have been using this a lot since I got this Actually, it was in the spring because it was the VIB sale in the spring, I think, when I bought that. Um, and so even though I didn't intend on getting this, I'm still happy that I got it because NARS makes really good quality eyeshadows. And especially the mattes are like really just such a dream to work with. So I'm really excited about this. The only other thing that I got from that order was I got a 100 point perk of the Prada Candy gloss scent um it says right on it juicy sparkly intensely joyful candy gloss is essential sorbet sweet as acid cherry and solar as the orange blossom a fruity bouquet with hints of rose and musk um this to me like i smelled it in a store a while back and even though it says all that stuff it kind of smells like product candy but like a grapefruit version which i know kind of smell sounds weird but i really really liked it so when i saw that they had this as a hundred point perk i decided to just get it because you know it takes a while to actually use up even that amount with the amount of fragrance that i have so i figured that would like hold me over from buying a full size Oh, there actually was one other thing, just a taupe brow pencil from Anastasia, I forgot about that. Okay, I went into MAC just yesterday because I got this email from them saying, congratulations, you have been in our select program for a year, um, which it's your anniversary, come get a, what is it called? Oh, a patent, patent polish, I, patent polish lip pencil? You know, I should just read it off the box. Patent polish lip pencil. So basically it was like, come in and get this for free. And so there's one, like I, I work in a mall and it, there's one right there. And I went in and I said, Do I, is it really free? Do I have to buy something? She's like, no, it's totally free. So they had a bunch there and she kind of swatched a couple. And I said, I like nudes and I like peachy nudes. And we swatched a few and I ended up deciding on this one called Clever, which is right here. I don't own any of these. And I just think it's like a really nice everyday kind of, deeper peachy nude there were a few that were definitely lighter than this um but this seems like it'd be great for just like wearing when you're out slapping it on that kind of thing and since i was there i also picked up another extended play giga black lash because honestly it, it's time like the last one i bought i think i bought in the spring and i use it i use it's the only mascara i use on my lower lash line um and just because it does not transfer it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge it you know it's just one of those things where you can always count on it so this is the only one i use on my lower lashes and it's been a long time since I've replaced it so it's time to replace it and now that I have I think I have six products to take back to back so let me know down in the comments um, what lipstick should I get because there are so many MAC lipsticks to redeem for oh yeah I also I forgot this was in there this is Olaplex step three I bought this off of Amazon um, I have gone into my hairdresser and gotten her to do a treatment of this on me like she's done it when she dyed my hair once and then I went in separately another time to just get it done and um, yeah I don't know I mean it's supposed to be amazing for keeping your hair you know not breaking that kind of thing my hair is still definitely prone to breakage and split ends but you can probably get like three or four treatments out of one bottle so but if you went to the salon it's like thirty dollars just for one treatment so i figured i would try to do it this way okay i have a giant box of stuff from the body shop and this box smells so 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 amazing um they had 40 percent off for black friday so 40 percent off everything on the website and then of course they also do ebates most of the places I shop at do Ebates, and I always, always remember to do Ebates. I always have a link to that down below if you're ever interested. Um, but Ebates is amazing because I think this time it was like 8%. But the body shop has had Ebates at like 30% before. So sometimes they do that kind of thing, which is crazy. But there are a couple products I love from them that I wanted to replenish. And also I've kind of just ran out of um, body gel in general. Body gel? shower gel i've ran out of shower gel in general i'm like on my last bottle that i have going so i just wanted to get a bunch of stuff so let's start with the shower gel so first of all i decided to get pina colada which i don't love pina coladas in general um only if they're made like really really good the best pina colada i ever had was on a mountaintop in cuba and it was incredible like we went back the next year and we made a trip just to go get it again. Um, anyway, so uh, sometimes when they're fake, I hate the way they smell. But this actually smells really nice. 
it, it's not too overpowering. It's not that fake pina colada. So I really like the way this one smells. That was a little bit of a don't know what I'm getting myself into. This is called Vanilla Pumpkin, which I had never tried before. And I don't smell a ton of pumpkin. Um, it just kind of has a really nice kind of vanilla-y, very subtle sweetness to it, which is cool. Um, I also got Vineyard Peach in the shower gel form because I love my Vineyard Peach exfoliator, which I, you know, got again. This stuff is amazing. I use this usually right before I'm going to shave my legs, and I really find that it helps prevent ingrown hairs when you exfoliate your legs right before you shave them. And this stuff smells like straight up sour peach gummies like if you have ever tried those before it's these smell exactly like that like they're so 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 good um i also got this this is also an exfoliating body scrub it came a little bit dented so thank goodness it's for me and not a gift but this is from their holiday collection and this is the vanilla chai exfoliating body scrub yeah it does have that chai smell to it but then i also got the vanilla chai foaming bath which is a, like i guess a bubble bath but sometimes because i don't take a lot of baths i usually do showers sometimes i'll just use bubble baths like as shower gel and it works out fine um and this stuff is filled right up to the top and it also definitely has that vanilla chai smell. Um, my one of my favorite drinks is from McDonald's, and it they it really only comes out in the summer, I think. And it's that vanilla chai frappuccino, that like frozen mixed up drink, so delicious. Like I have to stop myself from getting them because they are expensive and also really high calories. So I usually only have a couple per summer. But anyway, I actually accidentally ordered two of these. So somebody is getting one for Christmas for sure. And then I did purposefully order two of these. This is the um, Banana Truly Nourishing Conditioner and they've actually repackaged it, which is good because I could never really get the full amount out of the other one. And I think with this big long neck on this, if you turn it upside down, you won't have a problem. But this stuff smells so good if you like like bananas and I really do like the way it kind of leaves the ends of my hair soft um, some people have said that if you want your hair to be cool toned and not grassy not to use this but I have not had that issue and then I saw these on the website these are the body bath bubbles actually this is a bath bubble and this is a bath bomb and they were like three dollars each but of course 40% off so I ordered one of them each I ordered one of them each that is great English uh, vanilla delight and coconut but I expected them to be the size of like lush bath bombs. These are tiny, like this is super small. They're both super, super small, um, which was kind of disappointing, but maybe it still will bubble up a lot. I don't know. So that's it from the body shop. I just wandered into Winners the other day and they have Sigma brushes. And I've heard that a lot of Marshalls have them um, and TJ Maxx in the States. So I asked Alex, actually, I had picked up another brush too. And I asked her which one is better as a gift for somebody that I'm going to be giving it to. And I think, I think we were both undecided, but anyway, ultimately I ended up keeping this one and get, and I'll be giving the other one as a gift. Um, anyway, this is the F25, which I have never even seen before. It's absolutely gigantic. This is the Sigma F35, which is the tapered highlighter. You can see the difference. It's the same gorgeously soft material though. Material? Bristles. It's a gorgeously soft bristles. I use this for highlighter all the time. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for. I mean, you could like set your under eye with it. You could maybe even use it for blush. Like it's so soft. And then I also ordered from Avon. Um, yes, I have an Avon lady. I don't order from her very often, yet she still gives me the catalogs all the time. And sometimes I feel bad that I don't order more often. Um, but anyway, I got three of the lip balms because I actually love these. They're only 99 cents. I put these on at night and in the morning when I wake up, my lips are still like you could feel it on them and they are so moisturized. So I actually really recommend these Avon lip uh, lip balms. I got sugar cookie, buttercream, and marshmallow frosting. So all amazing. Um, remember I talked about my son having eczema? Well, this is actually the real reason that I usually order from Avon because this is the Moisture Therapy Derma Smoothing Body Wash. So if you have eczema, if you have sensitive skin, or you know somebody who does, he really seems to like this. And so I keep ordering it. Um, sometimes it's on sale. It wasn't on sale this time, but I just bought it anyway. And even full price, it's only $12. So it's not like a break the bank type of thing. And it's a huge amount 
amount of product. There's 6.7 fluid ounces in here. And then this is random, but I've never really bought fragrance from Avon ever, but they have those little sma uh, scratch and sniff things in their catalogs now where you can actually like smell the fragrance. And I just happened to decide that I wanted this one because it smelled really good in that scratch and sniff. This is what the bottle looks like. Glass. It actually looks really nice for an Avon product. Um, enticing notes of silky violet, opulent jasmine, and creamy vanilla noir. So that definitely sounds like it's up my alley. Whenever something has jasmine, patchouli, vanilla in it, that's usually like where I like to live when it comes to fragrance. Um, this bottle though, like look at the purple on the bottom, so pretty. And it does smell incredible. Like I put this on immediately, it's very intoxicating. If you like light scents, you won't like this. But this was only 20 bucks. And I was like, you know, you could spend over $100 on a fragrance sometimes, and sometimes you can spend 20 and you can have as much enjoyment out of it. Okay, can you believe that is it for, like, can you imagine how much shopping I actually did? Cause I did buy gifts, toys, presents for people, stuff for the house, like, somebody stop me okay um but it is the time of year to be doing that uh that's all it for makeup like that's everything for makeup i'll show you the clothes that i bought quickly i did go into old navy they were having 40 percent off the whole store they probably had another deal like on actual black friday i went in on the saturday because i don't know if i told you but i worked on black friday at american eagle um which is where i work and it was crazy and I was there from 8 to 4.30 and it was crazy. So I didn't do a lot of shopping on Black Friday other than like online, but the deals on Saturday were like almost exactly the same. So I bought a pair of these. These are just their active leggings. They have a really high waist on them, which I love. And I have another pair. I don't know if they're exactly the same because the ones I bought, I bought like two or three years ago. They still hold up amazingly well. Um, these ones are see-through though. Let me just tell you that right now they don't pass the bend over test like they're not see-through like really badly but if you really bent over and you know you were wearing polka dot underwear somebody would see and i only use that example because i did see a girl with that one time and yeah it's like you got to be careful guys um but this is like these are perfect for when you wear tunic type tops and they are the full length down to the ankle which i really love like i live in leggings you guys know that um just black ones not crazy kinds and then this is so gorgeous you're gonna die when you see this color i don't know if it's gonna come across exactly the same but it's so intensely teal green it's so beautiful looking in the viewfinder i don't think it looks exactly the same Anyway, it's really soft. It's like one of those super soft material tops, tunic length. Roots had 40% off everything, I think. I think they had 40% off everything. But there was a special deal for these salt and pepper type items, um, which are kind of like their trademark. Anyway, I don't own anything from Roots. And this sweatshirt just looked so soft and comfy. I bought it probably one size too big just because that's how I roll. I like to just wear really oversized like sweatshirts and stuff. And then the last place I went into was Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, I will say this actually, looking back at it now, I don't know why I went in there because I didn't buy anything that was on sale. <laughs> like, why, why did I do that? Um, but I just, I love that. Look, I'm wearing this today. Like, I just can't stay out of pink. I don't know, you guys. I'm like such a basic B when it comes to that. Um, and I love it. Like, I think it's cool to be basic sometimes. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I love being basic. So anyway, this is just like a bralette, but it's velvet. And then it has this sparkly metallic pink on the underside. Um, the back kind of like has this crisscross. It's just so pretty. So anyway, maybe this was on sale because I can't see myself paying $39.95 for it. No way. I didn't pay that much. I think these were on sale for like 20 or 25 bucks. Um, and then I actually had seen the this PJs. This PJs? Really? I want to say this PJ top, but I also want to say PJs. So, you know, that's why I just combined them and said this PJs. Anyway, this is this video is like getting so long and rambly. This is the last item. Um, I had seen these. When did I see them? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like two weeks ago. And I tried it on. Loved the way it looked. Like it's a long kind of tunic length. I'm not going to put it on and model it, but you know what I mean. It goes way past my butt, but yet you could still wear it with leggings, I think, and get away with it and, and kind of look cute um, in the winter. And as you can see, it's just like a snowflake pattern with pink on it. It's really flattering on. Like it really kind of shapes to the body. So I just picked that up. And um, 
I don't think it was on sale, but it was 35, which at pink is not too bad. Um, for like PJs, that's not bad, right? I mean, the bra regular price, they want 40 bucks for it. So let's end this haul here. I know some of you love my hauls. I know some of you hate hauls, but I love doing them. I just get super chatty and we can kind of talk about makeup and whatever. Definitely enter the little mini giveaway that I'm doing. If you want to enter, check the description bar. I'll put everything there for that. Um, and that is it for today. So if you're new around here, I hope that you really enjoy this. Definitely subscribe. I put up videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're being kind to yourself. Please do that. Please speak kindly to yourself. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.